Hey, thanks for clicking on my video. Seb Heslo here, and today we're gonna be overclocking this Gigabyte 1070 card for mining Ethereum with it. So let me just put you down here so you can see the screen. And don't worry if that's a bit too small because I'll be telling you all the numbers as we go. But before we get started, just, there are two things you need to be aware of when overclocking. And the number one thing is it's done at your own risk. You know, we're pushing numbers into these cards that aren't supposed to be going there. And the second thing is that even though I might get a result here using a specific set of numbers, that doesn't mean those same numbers will work for you even if you have the exact same card just because of how individual cards differ so just keep that in mind and let's get going so to start up let's open MSI Afterburner and as you can see we got it all just stock settings for now so the very first thing that I always do is I just put the fan up to 80% and we can hear the fan start shouting at us. Then I just open up my miner and I'm using T-Rex miner to mine Ethereum. Okay, so right out of the gate with just stock settings, it seems we're getting 26.67-ish mega hash. So now let's start messing with MSI Afterburner. So the very first thing that I always do is I just take the memory clock and I just pull that all the way down just to see what happens really. Yeah, and as we can see immediately here, performance really took a dip. Yeah. So we're down to 23.66 mega hash a second now and it seems to be declining still. So let's go back to our MSI afterburner and put our memory clock back to zero and while that has some time to settle I should mention that just my way of overclocking is I optimize for getting the highest stable hash rate so I, I don't optimize for sort of energy use like power usage to hash rate efficiency i just want the highest stable hash rate that i can get so that's what we're doing today we're just trying to push this card to hash as fast as possible while not crashing so i'm just waiting for the card to get back up to that 26.67 ish mega hash that we had in the beginning and we can see here it was down all the way to 22.82 mega hash a second, so pulling down the memory clock is definitely not optimal. Okay, so we're back up to 26.61 mega hash a second. So now I'm gonna do the exact same thing again, just with the core clock. So I'm gonna pull the core clock all the way down to negative 400, and I'm gonna apply that, and we'll just see what happens. And the reason I do this is just to see basically what happens because with some cards you can pull the core clock all the way down and it doesn't affect performance in any way but it seems with this it actually absolutely does yeah so we can already start to see a decline here 23.91 mega hash a second so i'm gonna put the core clock back to zero for now okay so we're back up to 26.66 mega hash a second so now we're gonna start increasing things instead. So I'm gonna start from the bottom with our memory clock and I'm gonna just put in plus 250. Now the safest way of doing this of course is to start with like 100, see if that works, 200, see if that works, 300 and so on. However, most, most cards you can push at least 250 so I thought I'd save us both some time. Okay, and as we can see here, Pushing the memory clock hasn't really done very much of anything. We're getting 26.70 mega hash a second instead of 26.65. I 
so not very much has happened at all. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep pushing it to 500, but I'm not expecting very much of anything to happen there either. Yeah, so we're getting 26.71 mega hash a second now. So pushing the memory clock hasn't done very much of anything except that we're consuming 134 watts instead of 130 watts earlier. So what we'll do is we'll leave the memory clock on 500 for now and we'll start pushing the core clock. So I'm going to be a lot more careful pushing the core clock, but let's start with plus 75 on the core clock and let's see what happens. Okay, so immediately we shot up to 27.48 mega hash a second and it looks like we're still climbing. So I'm gonna give it some time just to settle and we'll see where we end up. Okay, and it seems to have settled at 27.65 mega hash a second now. So what I'm gonna be doing now is I'm gonna take plus 25 step jumps until I start seeing instability in the card if that means the whole rig crashes and goes down or I start getting invalid shares or the GPU crashes and the miner has to reboot and then what I'll do is I'll dial it back minus 50 from that point. So that means we're going plus 100 on our core clock now Okay, and we seem to have settled around 28.03 mega hash per second now. So I'm gonna push the core clock up to plus 125. Okay, and we seem to have settled at 28.37 mega hash a second. So let's keep pushing. We're going plus 150 on core clock. All right, and it seems to have settled at around 28.68 mega hash a second. So I'm gonna push it to plus 7.5 on the core clock and let's see what happens. And it seems that it has crashed. Let's see if it will try one more time. Yeah, no, completely crashed. So as I said, we'll take the core clock and we'll dial it back by 50. So that's back to 125. All right, so we're back and it seems we've settled at around 28.36 mega hash a second. Now, could I possibly leave it at 150? Maybe. However, I'm not very comfortable being that close to a complete crash, which happened at 175. So I'm going to leave it at 125 for now. And now, Remember that memory clock that I just kind of left at plus 500? What I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna put that back to zero and I'm just gonna see if that does much of anything. If we lose some mega hash or if we stay steady at around 28.36 and if it reduces the power draw or if not much happens. Okay, so we can see now what's already happening is we're losing some hash rate here. So we're down to 27.29 mega hash a second. However, we are also down to using just 133 watts instead of 141 watts. However, it seems that our kilo hash per watt is roughly the same. So if the efficiency is about the same, I'd rather just have the higher mega hash number. Oh yeah, we're dropping now still. 26.75 mega hash a second. Let's see where it settles. All right, so it seems to have settled at 26.75 mega hash a second now. So it does seem we were gaining about 1.5 mega hash from the memory clock there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna push that back to 500 and I'm gonna let that settle. And then I'm gonna see if I can push it even a bit further since it seems that now after increasing the core clock, the memory clock actually has a bigger impact than we thought originally. All right, so it seems we've settled back at 28.38 mega hash a second. So I'm gonna keep pushing the memory clock now. So let's try, let's try 600. See if something happens. And we're back. Sorry, camera stopped recording on me. Um, yeah, what's happened since is just core clock, still at 125. I've pushed the memory clock up to plus 800 and it's just, it seems comfortable. It's, it's lying still here at around 28.38 mega hash a second. 
so I don't know let's what would max be plus a thousand let's see if we get a crash at plus one thousand well, it seems to still be going strong however also basically nothing has happened it's still at 28.37 ish it's using like one one additional watt of power but since nothing has really happened since we had our memory clock at plus 500 let's put it back to 500 again yep yeah. so we're down to plus 500 on the memory clock and we're still at 28.38 mega hash a second so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna decrease the memory clock so let's put it at I don't know, 400? Because there's no point having the numbers high if it doesn't do anything. Yeah, we're basically still at the same, 28.36 mega hash a second. So let's try, I don't know, 250. Do a bit of a bigger jump this time. All right, so it seems we did lose a slight bit of mega hash going down to plus 250 on the memory clock. So we're at 28.33 mega hash a second now which i mean that was what 0 0.03 mega hash per second but i'm i'm just gonna leave this at i'm just gonna leave the memory clock at 400 and now let's finally move on to power limits so as i've said before i don't optimize for hash rate efficiency i just optimize for the highest stable hash rate i can get however if i can get that same hash rate with lower power consumption, of course I'm gonna try. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna start by pulling on the power limit and I'm gonna go 90% and see if we start losing some hash rate or if we're okay. All right, so far so good. We're steady at 28.37 mega hash a second. So I'm gonna go even further on the power limit. I'm gonna go 80%. Okay, so we don't seem to have lost any hash rate at all going from 100 to 80% power limit. We're still at 28.37 mega hash a second. So I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna push 70% power limit. And let's see what that gets us. All right, so now we're starting to lose mega hash here. So 28.14. And it might still be decreasing, so let's see what happens. Yeah, 27.61 mega hash now. I'm just gonna give it some time to settle, see where it lands. All right, so it seems to have settled at around 27.16 mega hash a second. All right, I'm gonna start pushing the power limit back up again to see if we can get back to that 20, what were we at, 28.37 ish mega hash. So let's do 75. All right, so we're immediately seeing an increase. We're at 27.27 mega hash now. 27.61 mega hash a second now. Might still be climbing though. Let's let's hope for that. Okay, so it seems to have settled at around 27.92 mega hash a second. So I'm gonna push it back to 80, as in 80% power limit. All right, and we're back to settling in at around 28.37 mega hash a second. I'm happy with that. I think I'm gonna call it here, call this overclocking done. Hey, so I was just editing this video and I realized I forgot to mention that, of course, after you've overclocked your um, card and you're happy with your settings, what you should always do is, you know, just let it run on those settings for, you know, a day, uh, two days, a week and just look for, you know, is it getting the odd rejected share here and there? Is it crashing? And then adjust your settings down as applicable to that. And also, do you have a version of this card? If so, please leave your overclocking settings down in the comments and we could sort of build up a little database of, you know, uh, overclock settings. So that's it. Now back to the rest of the video. So yeah, if you enjoyed this video, I'd really appreciate if you could give it one of these and please subscribe to the channel i got lots of more mining content coming out really soon and until then see you later bye 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 <laughs>